Hi everyone, it's Renee again and it's Family Art Friday. So we're gonna be making another cool art project that anyone can do with materials you probably already have around the house. Today we're doing printmaking, which is a really fun process. So let's get started. So we're gonna gather our materials. There's quite a few for this project, but it's all things you should have around the house. Newspaper, white paper. Then you need a piece of foam. Uh, this is a piece of a meat tray. Just make sure you wash it off really well and they actually work great. Uh, some kind of paint. Acrylic paint works well because it's a little bit thick. Uh, you don't want anything that's too runny. Masking tape. This next item is optional, but if you happen to have a paint roller around the house, it makes it a lot easier. You could also try a rolling pin or a lint roller, uh, or you could just use your hands. It's just gonna be a little messier. We need toilet paper rolls, one for each color you're gonna use, scissors, a pencil with a good sharp tip on it, and then wax paper or parchment paper. Either one will work fine. The next thing we're gonna do is set up our space. This project has potential to get messy. So first thing you wanna do is make sure you cover your area with a newspaper so you don't get anything on the table. Then we're gonna take some of the wax paper or parchment paper and set up an area where we can have the wet paint. So just lay it out on top of your newspaper, and then that's what you're gonna use the masking tape for, to tape that down so it's not gonna move around while we're using it. If you are using a meat tray for this project, you're gonna to wanna to take your scissors and cut along the walls of the tray, because we just want that nice flat piece in the middle. And that's going to be our plate or the surface that we put our drawing into. So I'm going to draw a chicken because I love chickens. And you can draw whatever you want, um, but make sure you're using a sharp tip and really pressing down the lines. That's really important in this project. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of paint onto my palette. And then I'm going to make my brayer. In printmaking, a brayer is a tool that you roll ink from a palette and then onto a plate. So we're gonna improvise with things that we have around and we can make a brayer out of a toilet paper roll and really anything that rolls. And if you don't have anything, you can just roll it with your hands. So after you've got some paint on your brayer or your toilet paper roll, we're going to use it to bring it over to our plate. So we're rolling paint onto our brayer and then moving that color over onto our plate. We want to cover it pretty well, but you don't want to use so much paint that it's going into the lines. The lines are going to be what show up when we make our print. So you don't want to fill it up so that it fills the lines. When your plate is pretty well covered with paint, it's time to make our first print. So you're going to put the plate upside down on your piece of white paper and you have to press pretty hard on it so that the image will transfer. So you can use your hands or if you do have a roller, this is another handy way to use it, you can roll over the top of the print. So after you've got it on there pretty good, it's time to peel off the plate and reveal our first print. Not too bad. Now one thing I notice is the front of the chicken where her belly is, you can't really see that line didn't come out. And that's because I put too much ink in that area and it covered in the lines. So the cool thing about printmaking is that you can use your plate over and over. So if I wanna make a better print, I can go back into my lines using my sharp pencil and clean them out and try it over again. So 
So to make a new print, you're basically going to go through all the steps again. So I'm redrawing in my lines and then I'm using my brayer or my rolling tool to take the paint from the palette onto the plate, get it nice and covered, and then we're gonna flip it over and apply some pressure to the top to make a whole nother print. And voila. Now if I look at this one, I really like how the lines came out nice and strong. So I'm pretty happy with that. And once you get the hang of it, you can use this technique to um, make art for your walls, obviously, but also things like cards or wrapping paper are really fun to make um, by using printmaking. So I hope you all had fun. And if you try this at home, I hope you will share with us your success. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.